Can good actually come from evil? I didn't think so. About 10 miles east of the Blue Ridge Mountains is a little town some call the Bedrock. I always thought that was beautiful. For so many here, this town is just that. I remember when I first found faith. I was sitting in a church on a Sunday, finally realizing there were things outside of my control. This job has a way of humbling you. I saw things I never thought I'd see, and it broke me. But the funny thing about brokenness is that it can either lead you to faith or away from it. I've been the sheriff here for 30 years. I've seen the worst man can do and I've seen the best. This is the home of the Internet Crimes Against Children, or the ICAP as we call it. Folks are surprised when they hear that we're in this town. I suppose it's grace that enables us to keep our faith at all. It's a choice we make. Some people seem to be going away, not coming closer. Losing instead of finding. Not that I can entirely blame them. Because when you've seen the things we see, faith can seem like a fragile thing. And there will come a time when you feel overwhelmingly helpless. And the only thing left to do is pray. Can good actually come from evil? I didn't think so, but God thinks differently. Hey there, sweetheart. You, um, you here alone? Just me and Sunshine. How old are you? How old do you think I am? You look, uh... You look a little older than thir... Thirteen? So do you. That's our guy. Please, on the ground. Get down. Get on the ground. Get down. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on
Dave Gordon, Atlantic City. Get him out of my sight. I'm gonna miss those chat sessions. Sure you will. Why do you think he came all the way from Jersey? Fresh goods? Cole. Good job. Thanks, Lieutenant. Justin liked your post. Wow, that's so fast it's almost creepy. <laughs> what? Kiddo. You're crazy, Dad. <laughs> nice plank, Mr. Garrett. You like that? We have to get out of here before someone sees me with you. <laughs> What's this? That's some seminar they're doing at school next week. Come on, Faye. Kind of busy here. I know 
fun anymore. I gave Cole the lead on this one. She made the arrest, made all the arrangements. Good call, Lieutenant. How old is she? 24, fresh out of the academy. Perfect bait. Where are the girls, David? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I can refresh your memory. Look familiar? No. Meredith Crosby, from Richmond. Of course, you would probably remember her better by her screen name. Anna Baker, North Carolina. Also friends with you online. Communicated with you in the weeks leading up to her disappearance. I want a lawyer. Where are the girls, Dave? Do you know what they do to child molesters in prison? You wouldn't survive a week. Now we can do something about that. We can make it better for you, but you have to cooperate. I said, I want a lawyer. So you are definitely gonna need one. Over there, it's Justin from school. Hmm, Justin's spiritual now, huh? I hear women can have that effect on men. <laughs> Madison, the secret romantic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. So, I was wondering if I could sit with you back. Not tonight, Sammy. see you. Hey, I was talking with James earlier and uh, I was telling him and actually he was telling me rather about how much he loves to see things explode. Well, he is in luck this coming weekend and our big retreat. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be incredible. And I guarantee you, you will go bonkers this entire weekend. We've got great stuff lined up for you. We've got a big blob contest happening right on the lake and we've got a massive paintball war in store for every single one of you there. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Now, you need to make sure that you sign up in the back or see Faith, and she'll be more than happy to sign you up as well. I, I want over 100 of you and your friends with us this weekend. So if we get that amount there this weekend at a retreat, I will completely shave my head bald. Yeah. Completely bald. It's going to be great. So you want to make sure to register for this weekend tonight before you leave our youth group. It's going to be great. See how Joseph responded to his hardship? Get this. What, what man uses and intends for evil, God always, always, always uses for good. So here's my question. Are you trusting God or are you trusting God? someone else. One of the hardest things that Elizabeth and I have ever gone through is when we found out that we couldn't have children. But the thing that we did through all of it is that we completely let God have control over the situation. And here, four years removed from that very moment in, in the life of our marriage, we believe it, it's so incredibly true, not only for us, but also for you.
Hi guys, just checking in. Mary, it's Dad. Just making sure you're doing okay, sweetheart. Make sure you're staying out of trouble. Give me a call. When you can. Alright. Quick the tree. Wait a second, what? I'm challenging that. <laughs> it's a word. I've never heard of that word. <laughs> Dad's such a cheater. I'm not cheating, it's a word. Well? Oh, yeah, let's see. I think the words you're looking for, that are probably really hard for you to say right now, are something along the lines of, Dad, you're right. Dad, you're awesome. life with this easy. Target's right in front of you. All you gotta do is aim. You control it. Not doing too well, huh? Tell you, these perverts they used to be cowards. Now they're... You won't budge, Sheriff. Not saying a word. We're not done yet. We're never done. These perverts are multiplying. This idiot we have now, it's like nothing we've got left out there. I just want to line them up and... Lieutenant, you remember what I told you when you first started this job? Yeah, I do. Even though you're not in control of every situation, doesn't mean somebody isn't. What's up? So, what's the deal with you and Justin? Uh... Uh, nothing. I just invited him to the retreat. Who cares? I don't know. He's just short. Hey, is there a way we can all stay in the same cabin together? That would be great. What? I just thought we were all staying in tents. Faith? Faith? Oh, um, I'm sure we all can. Whatever. Camp Hideaway has cabins. No air conditioning, though. I'm so bringing my portable fan. No AC. Hey, don't worry, wait up. So, who have you been talking to the past couple days? Just this guy. What guy? You don't know him. <laughs> Do you? No, but one of my friends does, so it's no big deal. Okay, so ask him to hang out with us tonight. He kind of lives in Florida. Oh my word, why are you wasting your time with him then? 
because he's sweet and mature. Hey, Faith. <laughs> you know there may be someone local that might be interested. I think Madison has that one covered. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's Florida Kid look like? His name is Eddie. Mmm, not bad at all. <laughs> Don't you think it's about time to eat it? Just finishing up. Homework? Actually, I was uploading some of our planking pictures onto Emi. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. Who's that dude? Eddie. Cute, huh? Not bad. Not as good looking as your old man, though. Night, Daddy. Night, kiddo. I'm sending you a picture now, relax. I'm telling you, man, she is pure cotton candy. Hey, the squirrel is an easy catch. I can get her anytime. Yeah, she's a status queen. All right, we'll do. nitrogen cause smog and acid rain. They can also irritate your lungs. The United States has a clean coal technology program that encourages the development of technologies for reducing the
somebody saw us, Edwin. We were right next to Harrison. You shut up! Nobody saw anything. Look around, Nikki. Nobody cares. Bedford County 911. What is your emergency? Hi, uh, my, um, I think my daughter's been kidnapped. Sir, can you give me your location? I, I'm, I'm on Kingston Court. Can you give me any more details? Did you or anyone see her being taken? I don't know. I don't know. She, she, she called me. Uh, there was a message. I, it was broken up. I don't understand. I'm, can you send somebody up here right away, please? Sir, we have a car en route. Deputies are on their way. Thank you. Thank you. 7142, please respond to 121 Kingston Court. Possible missing child. Sammy, come home right now. Just get Sammy and get home now. Something's happened. Is something wrong? Jackie, just be careful. Drive safely. Get home as soon as you can. 
Bring Sammy with you. I can't think of anyone. Okay, then, if you can think of anyone. I can't think of anyone. What else can we do? My daughter's out there. Sam, I assure you, we got our best men on this. Just find her. We will. Listen, I know this may sound strange, but this is actually a good situation. A lot of times when kids go missing, we don't know if they've been kidnapped ran away or what. In this case, we have a voicemail and your daughter's text message. I say, this gives us a big head start. Sure. Sir, can you come here this please? Excuse me. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. What? What is it? A baby. Our kidnappers have a baby with them. You guys kidnap him too? He's our kid. That's your husband? Where am I? Do you want tape on your face again? Sound. I'll kill you. You understand me? Hi. You must be Ashley. Yes. You must be Sammy. Yeah. What you reading there, Sammy? You don't have to pretend like everything's okay. I know it's not. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. You wanted to ask me some questions? That depends on if you feel like answering some. I don't mind. I just want you to find her. Okay then. Did Faith have any older friends? Someone that she talked about maybe hanging around recently? 
I don't think so. I don't know too much. She doesn't like it when I'm around. Nah, she probably was distracted by some boy at school or something. Did Faith have a boyfriend? Uh, someone that she talked to? She didn't have a boyfriend. She'd been chatting with this guy, though. Ed Blue. Chatting online? Yeah. Where did she meet him? Well, she'd never actually met him. He lives in Florida. Come on, will you shut that baby up? All right, everyone, listen up. I need everybody on this as soon as possible. Now, Faith Garrett's been missing for five hours. And the sheriff believes this to be a priority one chat-related abduction by an online predator. All right now, I know we have a head start on this, but I want to make sure we find out everything we can about Faith Garrett. Okay, so check her online history. I want emails, email account, internet history. Check her cell phone records. I want to know what she's been saying. I want to know who she's been talking to. I want to know if she's been making any plans. I want you to go through all the computers in the house, check her journal entries, go through the trash cans, and when you've done that, do it all over again. I want no stone left unturned. Let's find this girl. You want some water? What? How do I know you didn't poison it or something? Don't be so dramatic. Sorry about all this, kid. Why are you doing this? Don't you think your parents are paid to get you back?
Hello. Yeah, this is Sam Garrett. The ICAC office. All right, we'll be right there. Sir, good news. Yes, please. We've tracked the tower from Faith's last phone call. Call to her dad. It traced to a tower near Beckley, West Virginia, sir. Also, neighbors saw a black extended cab pickup truck roaming the neighborhood yesterday afternoon. Great. Let's get the uh, Garrets in here. They're already on their way, sir. Good work. Sheriff, we need Campbell. They're at Beckley. All right, investigator, get us started. All right, listen up, guys. Now we have some good leads. The phone call she made yesterday was tracked back to a cell tower outside of Beckley, West Virginia. We sent this information to ICAC in West Virginia. They're on it. Mr. and Mrs. Garrett, I want you to know that we are doing everything we can to get your daughter back. You have to understand, Faith is very active on the internet. What do you mean, active? How? Social media. Amy, tweeting, texting, games. She uses the internet to keep in touch with her closest friends. School, church, and cheerleading. How do you know that? We have been able to view your daughter's internet history. We reviewed your daughter's history for the last six months. That's everything Faith posted, texted, tweeted, wrote in an email, instant message, or chat log. Are you kidding me? Like I said, very active. And we found nothing suspect or alarming. However, recently, Faith was approached online by what we call a decoy predator. And she was communicating with him, Ed Blue. Now that's a fake picture, a fake profile. She had no reason to believe that Ed Blue, or Eddie, wasn't from Florida and wasn't a 16-year-old boy with blue eyes and blonde hair as you see in that picture. So, you're telling me that my daughter has been abducted by a child predator, some psycho child molester. Sam. That... We don't know yet who has her. Sam, that's what we're going to find out. Well, look this guy up. Kick his door in. Get my daughter back. It's not that simple. They proxy off different IP addresses and internet servers. It takes time. Mr. and Mrs. Garrett, I want to echo what Brooklyn has said. Now, we're going to do everything that we can. Oh, now, listen up, guys. I want this picture and screen name profiled and sent out to every ICAC office. I want to know who has been talking to the Zed Blue. All right, now, secondly, I want to flood the social media networks with decoy girls, girls that look like Faith, girls that have the same background as Faith. Put them out there. I want to do this in a 100-mile radius. Mr. and Mrs. Garrett, I want you to take these transcripts with Brooklyn here and go over them especially the parts between Ed and Faith. Okay. Sure, yeah. All right, let's find this girl. What are you gonna make the call? What call? The ransom? Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna call him anymore. What? What? I know what I'm doing, Nikki. I just need you to trust me. Can you do that? Yeah, she's perfect, man. What? What? Why would you even a ask me that question? No, I haven't touched her. All right. All right. Yeah, we'll just sit tight. No. 
No one knows where we are. Guys, Bedford County Sheriff has asked for our help on this. Bedford County Sheriff? He's been in on this the whole time, right? He's the whole reason we're all here. That voice is a 14-year-old girl named Faith. She's missing. The last call she made came from this area right here near the Bailey's Farm Tower off Rusty Gates Drive. Wow, that's only 10 minutes away. Yeah. Only 10 minutes away, it's in our own backyard. She was abducted in her neighborhood in Bedford County, Virginia, around 6 p.m. yesterday evening. Guys, we need to do everything we can, everything within our power to get this girl back home safely. Cole, you need to get some sleep. I just want to set up a few more decoys. Take your pick, Ed Blue. We have Stephanie, age 14, Jessica, age 13, Brittany, age 14, and Amanda, age 14. All brunette and blue-eyed, just like Faith Garrett. Go long shot, but maybe we'll get a bite overnight. In the meantime, get some rest. Need you fresh in the morning. West Virginia ICAC's working with us, too. Yes, sir. This community has rallied together to find one of their own, Faith Garrett. Faith has been missing now for over 24 hours. The members of TRBC have gathered here to show their support to the Garrett family, to offer their help and resources, and to pray. He didn't want to come. How's he doing? He's having a hard time. Edwin, what are we doing with her? What are we doing with this girl? We're gonna sell her. You told me we were gonna ransom her. Nikki, I know what I said. I don't understand what's going on here. Nikki, look! He said... There's just some things you best not know about. You mind your own self, and you let me deal with all of this. I'm gonna get our money, and then we're gonna get out of here. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Baby, 
Stay there, look at me. I just need you to trust me. You trust me, right? I'm doing this for you. And for Bobby. So the least that you can do is trust me. Of course I trust you. I do. Good. That's good. Is more than I can see, but right now my fear is blinding me. Give me faith, give me faith to know your strength is mine. Give me faith, give me Similarities between Dave Gordon and Ed Blue's online activity is staggering. You think they're related? I know they are. Atlanta, Chicago, Atlantic City, Dave Gordon, Ed Blue, the, the other three online profiles we've been monitoring. It all leads to communication in these cities. These girls are being trafficked and sold for sex. You know the routine, Sheriff. You know what they're going to do. We're running out of time. I think we should have a chat with Dave Gordon. Sheriff, we have ways of making him talk. We're not gonna beat him up. I got an idea. All units, we have a reported break-in at TRBC. Someone broke into the church? You gotta be kidding me. Copy that. We're driving right by the church. We'll check it out. Hey, look. That's Sam's car.
I didn't know where else to go. I know you're there. I know you can see me. I know you can hear me. Why won't you answer? I know you're there, but I need you here. What can I do? I have prayed for protection for my girls since before they were born. I've prayed so hard since yesterday that I can't breathe. Not I, but Christ. I used to believe that, you know. Whenever I needed patience, not I, but Christ. Whenever I received praise, not I, but Christ. Needed strength, not I, but Christ. Protection, not I, but Christ. Expecting my daughters to be able to walk safely through this world, not I, but Christ. I have done my best to follow your lead. I have read your word cover to cover. I have done my level best to follow you. You're perfect, right? Our Heavenly Father, right? What kind of father does this? Ignores his children. You like seeing people on their knees broken? Fine! You like to hear your children despair, plead? Fine! <laughs> Protect my daughter. God that he give me the faith to believe that he is good and that he is in control of whatever goes on in my life and whatever comes my way and I gotta tell you it's hard, it's, it's difficult but you know what Sam we have hope and a promise we have hope and a promise that he will always be with us. I want to believe that. I really do. You feel so helpless. I'll tell you what, Sam. I got a lot more investigating to do. Why don't you come along? Would you like that? Sandra. Sure. We need to see Dave Gordon. 17, we need to see Dave Gordon. Gordon, come with me. You gotta understand that it's in your best interest to help us. 
I mean, you are into some heavy, deep stuff. Mr. Gordon. You don't want to talk? He doesn't want to talk. Don't talk. We just want to help you. We know you're not afraid of us. But you better know that it's only a matter of time before the rest of the jail finds out what you did. You know, sure. Last time I checked, they didn't take real kindly to his type down there. Remember, this is a local jail. You still got state prison to look forward to. Can I go back to sleep now? David! Hey, Dave, you're mine! You're mine, Dave! There was a different uh, drop point every time. New Jersey State Police. Can you get Police Chief Anderson for me? I'm sorry, the chief's not available at this hour. Ma'am, I'm the sheriff of Bedford County, and I know Chief Kyle Anderson personally. You have about a dozen underage girls sitting in a warehouse in Atlantic City that are about to be sold into the sex trade. Get me the chief. Why are you so scared? Do you not know that I'm protecting you? <laughs> don't, don't cry. <laughs> You're so pretty, cotton candy. Even when you do cry. Hey. You're gonna make a lot of people happy. <laughs> Edwin, what are you doing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do you have, Sheriff? We don't have an address, but we have a name and some details. Chief Anderson, this is Lieutenant Hampton. Our guy's name is Bennett Sutherland. He and his accomplice are abducting girls and selling them in Atlantic City into international sex trafficking. We're on it. We're looking for Faith Garrett, Chief. Got it. We'll keep you posted. <sighs> Thank you, Kyle. This color is so much better on you. It's gonna make you look so much older. Turn your head a little. Why do I have to dye my hair? You wanna meet movie stars, don't you? Plus, you can't get into the clubs looking 14. I guess so. <laughs> guess? Darling, when I was your age, I was meeting rock stars and partying all over Hollywood. When can I go home? Well, we have one trip to the city. 
and then you can go home. Let's see. Beautiful. You are absolutely beautiful, Amber. My name's not Amber. It is now. Go on in there with the other girls. Tomorrow I'm going shopping for your new wardrobe. Size two, right? Yes, ma'am. When are we shipping? We've got more coming in. Like Amber. High quality product. Not like these straight orphan girls. Jackie? Sam, where are you? I'm with the sheriff. Uh, we've got a, a lot of good leads and we might be able to find her soon. Do you think she's safe? I don't know, honey. I hope so. Honey, I'm sorry. For what, Sam? I'm sorry for the way I've been. I haven't been there for you and Sammy like I should have been. I'm gonna make things better, I promise. Thank you. Love you, Sam. I love you, too. Thank you all for coming. Sam here is going to hang out with us until we get this little girl home. All right, we're all here. You got West Virginia on the line? West Virginia's here, Sheriff. Chief Anderson, you on? You got New Jersey here. Kyle, tell us what you have. Well, whoever your informant was, he was absolutely right. We are narrowing down possible locations for the warehouse now. We should have something soon. We're racing against the clock here. Lieutenant Campbell, what about the DMV records on the black pickup? We're working on it. Campbell, it seems to me that we need to move operations up to you guys in West Virginia. Sounds good. Anderson, keep us updated. Will do, Sheriff. We'll be there in about four hours. Uh, actually, I may have somebody that can speed that up. How's that? A uh, private jet? shine all around in my arms you're safe and sound wipe all your tears and don't you frown for the Lord is looking down you got a way about you kid seems like he likes you better than me don't say that how old are you? Fourteen. You think God's gonna help you? What? I saw you praying. <laughs> you got a beautiful baby. <laughs> Why are you with him? Who? Edwin? I don't know. He's always taking care of me. But he beats you. I've been beat my whole life, kid. That's not right. He has no right to do that to you. Do me a favor.
really appreciate this, Vernon. No problem, buddy. Anything for family. Investigator Cole. Mr. Garrett, what can I do for you? Call me Sam. Okay. I think I owe you an apology. I've been out of my head lately and... Sam, consider your circumstances. You're fine, really. Who are those girls? These are other faiths. These are girls that are missing and suspected to have been abducted by online predators. They look so young. So innocent. It happens all the time, Sam. The children even younger than them. I never realized. Most people don't, Sam. Until it's too late. That's why we do what we do. You a rookie? Yeah, I guess. I just got here last night. Where are we? In the city somewhere? I'm Holly. Or Reagan. I'm Amber. I think. Why do we have to change our names? Oh, you get to know everything. In Hollywood, nobody uses their real names. Everybody knows that. I guess so. Yeah, Giselle will give you a whole new look. It's called the Hollywood Treatment. And I bet you're not tired either. No, it's the middle of the day. Well, gotta get ready for the nightlife. What? I told you already, man, she's cutting candy. What have I been doing? I've been sitting here waiting two days, waiting for you to bring the money! Fine. Will you tell Scott that he better watch his back? Because if he expects me to backtrack on Bennett, then he better have the money to back it. What are you doing? What's in Atlantic City? Pack your things, we're going. But what about Faith? Will you ever shut up? She's going along with us. Lieutenant Hampton. Clint's on the line. I'll put him on speakerphone. Clint, what do you have? Are you there, Lieutenant? We're all here. Atlantic City has an address. They're going in now.
Welcome, Sheriff. We just got a match at the black Ford F-150 truck, registered to an Edwin Doss, age 30. He's our man. You got an address? I do. Let's go. Hi. Honey, we just landed. We're driving now. Sam, where are you? Somewhere in West Virginia. What's going on? Uh, there's so much going on. We may have found the guy. How are you doing, honey? I'm doing all right. How's Sammy doing at the retreat? She's doing all right. You know, they had more than a hundred kids show up for this retreat. Guess how that happened? I don't know. Why? You know what? When you find your daughter, ask her about it. Sam, our deputy will keep her up to date. I, I, I gotta go, honey. I love you. Moving in. How long to the doll's house? Five minutes. Step on it. They're closing in right now, Mrs. Garrett.
Command, we've located additional females in the basement. Send EMS. They're gone. He left the truck. We have no leads on what he's driving. Sir, we've apprehended the accomplice. No sign of Bennett. Ms. Garrett? Sheriff? I'm sorry, Sam. She's not in Atlantic City either. They didn't find her. Sir, Giselle's cell phone. They found Edwin's cell number. Brooklyn, see if you can get immediate coordinates on that. Roadblocks? I've got roadblocks on the way.
Are you kidding me? Pinpointed it to 10 square meters. It's just on the road. We just missed him. Clear. Clear. Where's the signal now? We're back to a 4,000 square meter radius where you could be. Don't panic, Sam. We don't know who's it is, Sam. Sam? Sam!
Give yourself up, Edwin! You're not gonna make it out of here, man! Don't make me shoot you! Lieutenant, your team did an exceptional job. Thank you. Well done. We got lucky this time, Sheriff. Real lucky. I think it was a little more than just luck. Maybe you're right. You were there three days. And he didn't touch you? No. It was close, though. Do you know how lucky you are? The retreat. That's this weekend. Your mother told me they had almost 200 kids show up. Kids that you invited. But because you went missing, they didn't know who was coming. Can I call mom? I miss her so much. <laughs> you can see her face to face in just a few minutes. Faith, why do you think she helped you? People sometimes change if you just simply listen. I promised her. I promised Nikki that I would look after Bobby. Find a good home for him. Oh, Faith. Faith. We have been 
praying as a group for, for faith to come back. What are you thinking about in your life? When we feel that, that all is gone, that there is no hope at all, what are you here tonight? She's a virgin. Deputy, let's get this family back together. never ceases to amaze me how God can bring good out of evil. I've seen the worst man can do, and I've seen the best. I suppose it's grace that enables us to keep our faith at all. The Lord should be praised. I called on Him, and I was saved from my enemies. The ropes of death had become tangled around me. The torrents of destruction had overwhelmed me. The ropes of the grave had surrounded me. The clutches of death had confronted me. I called on the Lord in my distress. I cried to my God for help. He heard my voice from his temple and my cry for help reached his ears. Psalm 18.
today we are we're, we're, we're privileged and we're honored. As you know, uh, in our church, uh, Faith uh, was abducted not long ago. You know the story. Three days held captive and, and uh, rescued by the police and, and, and even her own dad. It was, it was an incredible story there. And you know, the Bible tells us that sometimes things that are meant for evil, God needs for good. Also rescued in the midst of that was this beautiful child, Bobby. Matt, Elizabeth, I know today that's exactly what this is all about. So today we get to dedicate Bobby into your arms and into your hands as your child. And so let's have a word of prayer right now. God, today we, we dedicate Bobby. Lord, we thank you for bringing this sweet child to Matt and to Elizabeth. Jesus 
Die. 